Hello, welcome to another video of CS106A um, Assignment 6, and this is for Name Surfer. I'm doing this a little early just because uh, I feel like there's uh, some few of you who are doing are, are going ahead and getting these done early, and so I, f I figured that I might as well just post it early so that you guys can have a chance to take a look at what I did for the program. Uh, one thing to recognize here is that the purpose of assignment 6 is to introduce a Java thing called interactors. And if I were to describe interactors um, in a way, I would call them widgets. And basically, they're things that you can interact it with so that it can create some kind of function that would give you some sort of response. And it's pre made, and there's a whole set of them. Okay, and we're only going to go over a few of them. Um, another thing is now the number of classes that we're going to interact with goes from uh, two classes to a total of five, and one of them being the uh, variables. So it's going to still going to implement a, uh, a, a set of constants. Okay. So <clears throat> in this first video, we're going to go over milestone one. There are no parts. This will be done in one video, and basically, it's Name Surfer is a program where it ranks the popularity of names okay and nice enough for us they created a uh, flowchart and in this flowchart you see that we have a main program called name surfer which will receive the user input and be able to interpret it it's pretty much the frontal lobe of your brain that does all the executive reasoning and then it's going to interact with our the memory which is the name surfer entries and then once it returns those it's going to send those entries to the graph so it can graphically uh, represent all the information that was uh, handed to it from the database. Database will be in text, but the name of the graph can definitely put it in visual graphs. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to create this uh, diagram right here. Okay. On the top you have the name label with the text field and two buttons, LJ buttons. And in the first example, you want to uh, type in the word Sam, click on the button graph, and then we print that. Type in the word Samantha, hit enter, and we print that. And just by clicking on the clear button, you want it to say clear. Um, it's not a necessary part, but the way they arranged this assignment, they did it thinking about the students. This is actually really easy to do, but if you do this later, it might be a little more complicated. Um, but it's a good start. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you want to do is to set up your objects that you want to work with. So we, again, we need a day label. We'll call that the name label. We need a <coughs> J text field. Okay, so we'll call that the name field. Uh, there's also something called the uh, J button, which we'll call it the graph button. And then there's also something called the clear button, which we'll just call clear button. Okay, so there you go. Those are the instance uh, objects that we want to use in our. Um, program and now we need to set up uh, the functionality of it so let's start with the name field so name label uh, sorry not field name label so name label we're going to hit name label and then we're going to hit equals equals to uh, new j label and the string that we're going to put in there is going to be name okay now, once we set that construction up for that uh, label, we got to be able to add it now. So add that name label to the top side, so the north side of the screen. Next, we need to add the text field. So we're going to say um, name field equals to new j text field. Again, capital F. And then uh, we need a dimensional size to how much uh, spacing we want to give it. Um, 20 is okay, 30 is okay. I'll put, yeah, 30, sure. So that's the length of the actual text box. And then we're going to add that to the north side as well. So name field north. Okay. Next thing we're going to add is the button. So we're going to put our graph button. And this will be the J button that's going to appear on the north side. And we'll put the name aside, graph. Okay. We're going to add that button, so graph button, uh, to the north. Okay, and we need to add one more button, the clear button. So that would be clear button, new J button, clear, add 
their button north. Okay. Um, now, now that we set up the actual um, the actual widgets for the program, we need to now create the functional part of it. So, to do this, um, the variable that that they used as a parameter is the action event. So, if now e dot get source, that's where the action comes from, is equal to the graph button. Okay, so if that derives from the graph button, we want to print a line that says graph and then name. And where's the name going to come from? The name text field. So the name text field, <coughs> or the name field. And then we say dot get the text. So get the text, and that text is going to be a name. Right? Uh, we want to deal with also what if uh, e dot get source is just the whoops not action get source happens to be the text field itself. So the name field. Well, if it's the name field that's that we're calling, then again we want to print that same statement out that says print the graph word with the name that's inside the te text, text field. <coughs> Lastly, if our e dot get source e dot get source is a clear button, we want to be able to um, just print the line clear. Just like that. Now, uh, one more thing to realize is that yes, these are all the actions that you want, the functionality. You need to be able to uh, turn on that function with that place, that location. So, for example, the text field, we need to add that. We need to add uh, name field dot act add action listeners and make sure that we imply that we're talking about the text field, which is this. Okay, and in general, for all the other things like graph and clear, we just we're just going to add action list listeners straight off the bat. Okay, and so that has activated the whole entire window for us. Uh, one thing to keep in mind: make sure uh, I changed it. I originally said program. We need to make sure it's console program because. We're going to see the print lines inside the center window. So we hit run and launch it. Now you type in Sam, click on the graph, there it is. You type in Samantha, uh, hit enter, and you hit clear, and it gets you clear. So that's the video for Milestone 1. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any comments about how everything works, just put it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Um, I'm still creating lots of videos. I have a couple projects that I may start adding to the channel, um, other subjects, other topics, uh, also some stuff related to my ideas about computer science. Please check that out too. Um, and anyways, um, if you have any questions, just send me an email and I will try to um, answer that for you. Okay? Thank you again. Bye.